When I had the opportunity to run for the Congress, I went to Ellen to tell her what I was thinking about. Well, at first blush, I could tell by Ellen's uh, uh, body language <laughs> that she wasn't sure she wanted me to leave. But I, was, I said to her, I'm trying to carry out the mission <laughs> of Emily's list. And it, it, you know, it was, it was a, a, you know, a, a moment at which, you know, it was my running for office or staying as executive director uh, at Emily's List. She was torn, but then she knew that this is what Emily's List was all about. The opportunities come and you take it. <laughs> Women so often had run for office as a uh, sacrificial lamb. Somebody said, okay, we have the seat, we can't win, so let's have, you know, uh, 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 you know Jane run, or, and, 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 but without any chance of winning. What was critical to what Emily's List is all about is that it, it, the, the rigor uh, and, and the discipline about what it takes to win elections. When I ran for this office, I won my first race 52-48. We were in touch with Ellen, showed her the polling numbers, uh, and in, in an instant, in a heartbeat, uh, Ellen and Emily's list turned this town upside down to provide me with the resources that I needed to get over the finish line. And for that, I'm always grateful. Emily's list has changed the face of politics in America. What Ellen Malcolm and Emily's List have done is to level the playing field for pro-choice democratic women.